ES6 gave us set and weak set and then people never exposed to this got confused on how it differs from arrays and each other. So let's clear this out. It is clear that sets and weak sets will make sure its items are unique and that's built in capability. And to accomplish the same thing with arrays, you have to manually check every item to make sure. Sets and weak sets do not have keys, or better, keys and values are the same, so every operation you do with them involves passing the value. That means you can't access the items just by knowing where it is in the list like you can do with array indexes. For iterations, only weak set does not allow this, since the items are weak reference and may not even be there while you iterated them, so makes sense. JavaScript orders items in the set by the order of insertion, and you may argue that the same is true for arrays, but arrays use index, and I could add an item at index 10, then an item at index 2. Like I mentioned before, sets and weak sets keys and values are the same, but array keys are indexes, which are numbers. Values can be anything in sets and arrays, but weak sets can only contain objects. Another point for weak sets is that they do not prevent garbage collection of their items even while your code is running. So set and arrays will keep their items even if no reference to them exists, but weak sets items can easily be garbage collected. So the idea of a list of objects existing in a weak set is not real. It's like a collection of references to objects rather than the objects themselves. It's like if you create an object and then don't use it and the garbage collector comes along and remove it. So if the object is collected, then the reference to it no longer exists as well. And that's what it means to say it's a weak reference. For operations, set and weak set use the add method to insert items, and arrays use push, shift, and splice as well as the index directly. Set and weak set use the delete method to remove items, and arrays use pop, unshift, and splice as well as the index directly. The has method allows to check if items exist in set and weak set, but array has includes and also other methods like every and some that lets you check multiple items at once. You get the size with the size property in sets and length in arrays, but weak set does not allow for this kind of information. Same for looping, weak set is left out and for each is an option for both sets and arrays. But arrays have more powerful iteration methods that allows you to modify the end return totally new arrays like map filter for example. You can also use iterators in both set and, and arrays to iterate them, but where keys return the index of the array, keys return values in sets. Now, sets are great for list level comparison and operations. You can guarantee uniqueness of the items in the list and it's great for user provided data. So you can make sure you don't keep repeated user data and don't unnecessarily operate on them. Arrays are great for random read and write and you need to access the items and you may or not know where the items are or how big the list can be. And it's awesome to organize the data by shuffling around, sorting, etc. General list purposes. Weak sets follow sets closely, but it can only contain objects, so there is a difference there. But weak sets are great when memory is a concern. You can use it to tag data with no intention of changing them. Also awesome to prevent circular references in recursive operations, etc. I find myself using it a lot when working with DOM elements, especially if these DOMs are removed and added and I want to make sure I don't operate on them repeatedly. Also I found weak sets to require more advanced knowledge of the language and used a lot by libraries like React and Angular to ensure great memory usage and more advantage computation for ultimate performance, so don't freak out if you can't find a use for them just yet. Well, hopefully you found all this useful, like, share and subscribe, thanks for watching, catch you in the next one. Bye -bye.